Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Talks Trading. My name is Sky, and today we are going to be talking about renewable energy stocks. Five of them, to be precise. So, let's get straight into it. Since around February, Wall Street can't see the forest for the trees when it comes to renewable energy stocks. And one thing I've noticed uh, is that investors are so focused on small issues, minor things, while seemingly completely forgetting that the fundamentals for these equities remain super strong. You know, they're getting so caught up in the little things and not seeing the big picture. Over the past 10 or so weeks, solar energy stocks have been especially weak, and that's been, you know, pretty disappointing for a lot of people. Since the end of January, giant Chinese solar module maker Jinkar Solar has lost 50% of its value. US commercial solar powerhouse SunPower has also given back half of its value during that time. But some wind power plays have also tumbled, with American superconductor sinking 45% since January 22nd, and Vesta's wind system down 16%. So, It may look a bit gloomy, okay, but if you know anything about investing, when everyone else is scared, that's when you get greedy. I think that rising interest rates have been maybe the biggest reason, culprit, behind um, this weakness in the solar renewable energy sector. When it comes to solar stocks, the cost of polysilicone, which is one of the key components of administration, can get its stimulus bill, which includes many tax breaks and financial support for green projects through Congress. You know, it's important to point out that Chinese, US and EU governments are all very committed to greatly reducing their carbon emissions. Also, a lot of huge companies globally are also embracing renewable energy. Solar has become a lot cheaper than other forms of power in many places. So the first renewable energy stock that we're gonna look at is Reggie, and that is the ticker for Renewable Energy Group. You know, very simple name, I like it. Renewable Energy Group Inc. is a producer and refiner of biofuels in the oil and gas industry. The company's operations include acquiring feedstock, operating biorefineries, and marketing and distributing renewable fuels. Its operating segments include biomass-based diesel, services, and corporate, and other. The majority of the company's revenue comes from the sale of biomass-based diesel. Uh, When it comes to location, it operates in the United States, Germany, and other foreign countries of which the United States derived maximum revenue. At its biorefineries, natural fats, oils, and greases are converted into biofuels and renewable chemicals, which is super interesting and really quite impressive. Um, So Reggie is set to report their first quarter 2021 results on May 3rd. So right now it's May 1st, so not long. Um, So they'll be doing that on May 3rd after market close. In the last reported quarter, the company delivered a negative earnings surprise of 10.45%. That being said, in the trailing four quarters, Reggie came up with an earnings surprise of 43.13% on average. So that's a pretty nice, uh, you know, phoenix rising from the ashes kind of situation. They're committed to being a long-term leader in bio-based fuel and chemicals. They have announced to increase the production capacity of one of their plants. Renewable Energy Group is evolving to meet the demand of customers and deliver sustainable fuel solutions. The price of the stock... Uh, is on an upward trend and has gained more than 260% from last year till date. What's more, its solid liquidity position makes its financial position pretty strong. I think Reggie looks to be a total bargain right now. The second renewable energy stock I want to take a look at is Jinko. Jinko became the largest maker of photovoltaic solar modulism in the world at the end of last year. 
You know, dis- despite the harsh conditions of the pandemic, Jinko's shipments soared 31% and its top line jumped 18% in 2020, while gross profit climbed 13% year over year. In Q4, polysilicone costs were super high, they were just soaring, and this did negatively affect demand for solar modules. So Jinko's net income tumbled 92% year over year to $5.1 million. But having said that, Jinko said that it expects its shipments to jump 30% in 2021 and indicated that polysilicone prices would stabilize in the second half of the year. So there's a lot to look forward to. Uh, This will lead to higher demand for modules. Also, Jinko They went into partnership with Tongwai, and with this partnership, they are developing their own crystalline silicone capacity, which should increase Jinko's ability to access the silicone used to develop solar modules at a more reasonable price. At the start of the year, in January, they continued the record of developing the most effective solar modules. They also won the Best Module Award for for the uh, High Density Tiger Monofacial Module that they had. There really is an award for everything. I love that. You know, even though Jinko Solar is one of the world's top, if not the top, solar energy company and continues to develop highly innovative modules while growing rapidly, the stock has a trailing price-sales ratio of just 0.32. The next renewable energy stock that we are going to have a look at is American Superconductor. That's AMSC. You know, I see this a lot like uh, STEM Energy, which a lot of people are seeing a very bright future for. And I also see a very bright future for American Superconductor. You know, they both sell similar products. Uh, they, They both sell products that enable utilities and businesses to effectively connect renewable energy sources to the grid and manage electricity flows. And as more companies use renewable energy and electric vehicles, these products will be, you know, in very high demand. American Superconductor also has strong exposure to wind energy. Um, It sells products that increase the efficiency of wind turbines. The company has deals with Inox, which is a major Indian wind turbine maker, and Doosan, a large Korean wind turbine maker. So they're really, they're strong in there with the wind turbine sector. Uh, And also, American Superconductor has developed REG, which is a system that protects the energy grid from adverse weather and other, you know, catastrophic events which is something that was definitely very much needed. As transportation is increasingly electrified, this makes the grid more critical than ever. A meaningful number of governments and utilities are likely to buy Reg. You know, it's going to be in high demand. After the recent retreat of AMSC stock, the shares are trading for just 4.36 times analysis average 2022 revenue estimate. Lastly, on this top renewable energy stocks video, let's talk about a small cap, Ocean Power Technologies. This is a small cap that is operating in the wave energy based renewable energy, which is pretty interesting. Not a lot of people talk about it. Not a lot of people talk about wave energy based renewable energy. Ocean Power Technologies stock has already skyrocketed by nearly 940% in the past year. But some speculative position in the stock can be considered. You know, they do have an early mover advantage in the wave energy business. One of the company's products is PB3 Power Boy, and that is a floating system that, to generate power from ocean waves. Like, ocean waves are pretty powerful. I don't know if you've ever been hit, up, hit by a wave, but... That's powerful. Another interesting product is the Hybrid Power Boy, which is a floating system that can generate power from solar panels. So they're not just dealing with waves, also with solar. Uh, You know, if we look at it from a financial perspective, which of course we are, uh, the company has a liquidity of $80.4 million. And this allows the company to increase the product pipeline and addressable market. Also, Ocean Power recently acquired 3Dent Technology. 
And 3Dent Technology is a, it's an offshore energy engineering and design services company. So as the company's offshore energy solutions expand, along with market presence, there is visibility for long-term value creation. I see this as a, as a long-term stock for sure. At a current market capitalization of $196 million, OPTT stock is attractive for exposure. The stock has, you know, it's corrected significantly from its all-time highs, and another rally is pretty likely. That is, of course, if the company can secure multi-unit orders. Uh, did I say lastly? I forgot how to count. We've got one more because this is top five. So for our fifth and final pick today, we have Plug Power, which is a hydrogen fuel cell maker. And Plug Power aims to provide zero emission fuel cells that can store energy. This can later be used when needed both in stationary applications as well as hydrogen powered vehicles. Plug Power has purchased United King... No, <laughs> did not. They did not purchase United Kingdom. <laughs> they purchased United Hydrogen Group and Jenner ELX in the year 2020. Its fuel cells have been preferred by companies like Walmart, to whom it will be providing fuel cell-powered vehicles for its e-commerce network. I mean, with Plug providing Gen Key hydrogen and fuel cell solutions to giants like Walmart at its logistic centers, it's bound to spike uh, confidence from investors. Plug Power is on the right track of its vision to become the leader in the global hydrogen economy. Plug Power has been taking pretty aggressive steps to grow its top line. In February, the company announced its plan to build a green hydrogen production facility in New York with a production capacity of 45 metric tons per day, which is uh, quite a lot. Plug Power also recently signed a previously announced deal with South Korea's SK Group, and South Korea's SK Group will invest $1.6 billion in plug power in exchange for a 9.6% stake in the company. The two companies plan to jointly establish a huge fuel cell electrolyzer production facility in South Korea. The South Korean government has set ambitious goals for promoting hydrogen use in the country, uh, which will obviously benefit plug power. The company has also got a partnership with Renault. Um, I think it's pronounced Renault. I always said Renault, but I think it's Renault. Um, a planned joint venture with Renault will target a 30% share of the fuel cell powered light commercial vehicle market in Europe. That would be huge as 30% of the light vehicle market is expected to be around 500,000 vehicles by 2030. Plug Power has also announced a partnership with Aconia a leading developer of sustainable infrastructure solutions with an expected investment of over 2 billion euros. The joint venture will aim to capture 20% share of Spain and Portugal's green hydrogen market by 2030. So Plug Power's 2024 sales guidance of $1.7 billion and sales growth beyond that look very achievable. So that is all for today, guys. That is my top five renewable energy stock pick list. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought. It's okay if you disagree with me. Uh, we can, you know, I encourage conversation.